drop, pin and drop. Let me ask you about that, though. Like, how do you, because you know this industry is filled with politics, right? Where it's like, it's hard to maneuver where you're like, cool with this person, but this person got problems with this person. And then some people, they're more serious about like, oh, if you're going to be cool with me, you can't be cool with that person. You know, how do you navigate that, especially in the situation with like Cuban and Tony Sunshine and Fat Joe? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a... I mean that went spilled over into the street. So it's, it's even more sensitive of a situation. I mean, no offense, like real shit, like real rap. Like when I was running around, when we was running around with Cuban, you know, like wasn't nothing going to happen to Cuban. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if I'm with you, I'm with you. You know what I mean? If I'm with you, I'm with you all the way. You know what I'm saying? But, um, back to what you just said, I don't, like I said, I'm my own, person individual man before anything you know what i mean so whoever i i choose to be with or affiliate myself with and i do not affiliate with no rats no child molesters no suckers you know what i mean etc you feel me so you can't black you can't do that to me because i just don't allow it to happen you know what I'm saying? It's not, you know what I mean? I get it. Yeah, dude, I, listen, I've been part of it. You know what I'm saying? Not me necessarily, but artists I done had where phone calls were being made. Yo, don't fuck with them. Uh, they going, they, them niggas going to rob you. They, they kill us. Uh, not talking about me per se, but the artists I had, you know what I mean? That I was managing at the time. I had been caught, and I'm talking about calls being made to some really powerful people in the industry. You know what I mean? So that shit does exist, but it ain't what they make it seem to be. It's just sucker niggas doing sucker shit and, you know, making certain phone calls, talking You're bad You're talking about the, the blackballing. Right. I'm talking about the blackballing. Got blackballing it. ain't like there's a committee behind the scenes somewhere that you could call. If you're a certain, if you reach a certain tier in this music industry, you could just call them and say, you know what? We don't want this guy in the industry and they just going to shut him out. That's not how it works. How it usually works is, all right, you and son ain't seeing eye to eye. If I got more power than you, I'm not a sucker nigga, so I don't do this type of shit. But I seen it. Sucker niggas do sucker shit, right? So what are they going to do? Hey, yo, my man. Yo, yeah. You know, they're going to have people, you know, powerful people they probably know in the industry. Yo, don't fuck with such and such. You know what I mean? He's this, that, and the third. He might not even say, I don't fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? He's going to say certain things bad about the dude, you know, or or, or stay away from him. They, they might rob you. They might do some bad shit to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I've seen it with my own eyes and experienced it. Not towards me. Yeah, it could happen towards me, but you got to, like, kind of open that, that door, too. You know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, you could outwork that shit. You feel me? You could outwork it and there's ways around it, especially now with the internet and, and the accessibility everybody got. Instagram got like everybody would have to block you. Like, you know what I mean? Like you can't stop somebody. These back then it was a little different. Yeah. But like I said, it was mostly that sucker dude doing a sucker, sucker shit. You know what I mean? But you know, like also like they don't always even have to say something just because if people are aware of the situation, they might not want to mess with the person that got the smaller name because they don't want to ruin any opportunities with the person that got the bigger name. But right, right then and there, you're just picking a side. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know, this is business. This is business. You know what I mean? So now, if your interest, if I fuck with you, right, and we got business going on, like we're making money and I'm feeding my kids, you're feeding your kids, and you got a problem with such individual, then I got to pick a side, bro. Like, it just is what it is. You know what I mean? It's fucked up, but nine out of 10, you got to pick a side. And that's what these people are doing. And, and, and don't be naive to the fact that's what's going on. Don't call You know what I mean? He's not the person you're talking about. Ain't black on you. He picked the side, bro. Mm. Take it. All right. He picked him. So that, so now, you know, if, if you want it like that, now he on the target too. You know what I'm saying? He a target too then. He picked that side. 
So since we're talking about um, the blackballing, how do you feel about what has happened to Cuban in regards to that, since you were there to see a lot of things as well? Mm. With Cuban? Cuban, it was just a... Uh, it was just a... Like, I wasn't there. Let's get one thing clear, right? I didn't know Cuban when... There's always an incident that gets spoken about. Right. Jimmy's Cafe. Right? That set everything off, Right. At Jimmy's, whatever happened, right? I met Cuban a couple years after that. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't there for that. Believe what I would like to feel and know, like I know myself and my peoples. I'm not going to say that wouldn't have happened if I was around because that's just talking shit. You know what I mean? Obviously, anybody could get it at in a New York minute at any given time. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, but yeah, but it would have, but let's, let's be honest, but it would have been nice if he had somebody that had his back on that night, like, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it was really just him by himself. I'm pretty sure Cuban did. I'm pretty sure he did have people. No, nah, he had, he wasn't. was only with him and Sunkiss. That's it. And Sunkiss right. got knocked out by, or he got but punched. You're talking first. about inside the club that night. Right, right. Copy. Yeah, he probably, yeah, he was probably, yeah, on the, shit under the stick, you know, he probably didn't have who he needed to have with him that night. You know what I'm saying? But um, what transpired after that, you know, like, I know things that maybe you might not know, you know what I mean? Like certain incidences um, on how he might have could have played it a little better, you know what I mean? With certain individuals. Now, I'm not talking about with um with main man, you know, who, who whatever allegedly did whatever to him or whatever. But I'm just saying in general with like the industry, <clears throat> cause I remember Cuban being at certain spots and being around certain people that, that could have helped him, that could have played his records. You know what I'm saying? But this shit is checkers. I mean, sorry, it's not checkers, it's chess. You got to know how to play the game. And I think, I don't approve of what happened to him at all, at all, at all. I just know, like I was telling you, the blackballing, the dudes ain't that powerful, bro. Like, Cuban had a whole big deal after that. You know what I'm saying? He had a whole situation. Like, again, I don't know the specifics of a lot of shit. You know what I mean? But he was signed to, what was it, MOB Records or something? Yeah, MOB. Mm -hmm. Right? Cause mind that's, you, bro, that's where he did his uh his album uh Chain Reaction. Mind you, I, I'm never like I'm doing me. Poe's doing Poe. Poe got a lot of shit going on. Let's let's just, you know what I mean? Address let's let's make that clear. Poe ain't worried about what's going on over there. Poe got his own shit to worry about. You feel me? That's street shit, police shit, etc. You know what I mean? But with that being said. It was just a fucked up situation, bro. It was just a fucked up situation, my nigga. You know what I mean? And I think, you know, I, it affected him, bro. It affected Cuban. It affected him a lot. You know what I'm saying? So that was another reason, like, when we was when we got together, we we had our relationship as far as artist wise, and we was we was really tight at one point. I felt bad for him, bro. You know what I'm saying? I felt bad about what happened. Can I? Could I rewind shit? No. But like I said, he would have a performance or he would be doing, you know what I mean? Like we was there. You know what I mean? Puerto Rican Day Parade. We was there, bro. We was everywhere. After parties all over. Niggas know who we is, who we are, who we was. You know what I'm saying? But it's like... <clears throat> Man, it, it's it's just difficult, man, because I think I'm going to keep it a buck. I think he gave it too much play, too. You know, he fed into it too much. He fed into the beef too much? Yeah, it's like <clears throat> at some point you got to listen, man. And this goes for everybody, not just Cuban. You know what I mean? Uh, it comes to a point where we got to turn the page. You know what I'm saying? It seems to me like that subject gets brought up a lot, a lot, you know? And it's like... So from from your take on it, it kind of seems more like 
Now, some of those things with the blackballing might have happened, did happen, but he could have played his cards better too at the same time to help himself. And not just him, because mind you, he 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 was alone, but I don't think he was. Like, remember, he had like the MOB shit going on. So the people around him at that time, probably because you know, Cuban was younger than them alleged people, right? So there could have been more people in his ear, like just you know, telling them different, like, yo, bro, maybe you should do this instead of that. You know what I'm saying? Giving them some good advice, you know, but Listen, it's 2024, my man. Like, what are we doing? You know? So what do you, how do you I'm not going to let no one man, sorry. I'm not going to let no one man have that much influence over my life. Right. That's all. And I love, and I love who I, bro. And I'll tell him this was face, bro. And I love that man. But I'm not going to let no one man have that much power over or dictate my situation you know what i mean 